I was getting into it, running it part time. I didn't, I, I didn't feel like I was at a disadvantage or anything. I felt like we had a little bit of a even playing field, if not an advantage, because everybody was kind of the, the, the full time guys were collectively having to figure out week to week to week what the car wanted. The teams were changing and pivoting, and and I was getting into it pretty fresh uh, with not a lot of baggage because I wasn't driving a car every week. So it's pretty freeing in 2022 when I ran those what six race starts. Um, but I think three or four of those are super speedways. So um, I, as we've gotten to the meat of the season here, you know, it's been interesting going to these places for the first time, though, right? Like, you know, going to going to race in Phoenix, racing Dover, racing Martinsville this week here at Kansas, like all places I have not driven this race car at. So there are little things that um, I feel like as a race team, we had to sit down after about week four this year, be like, hey, just a reminder for everybody involved. Like when we fire off lap one of practice, Yes, I'm prepared to go do what I want to do, but until I run those first three to five laps, I mean, I'm a, I'm a rookie with, with a tire in this race car at these tracks. So, like, don't get beat up about the speed early on. Let's look at lap five on, lap ten on for practice. And that's how we kind of judge where we're at that weekend and um, kind of how our preparation has, has, uh, has led us. And then evaluate and move forward after that. Um, a lot of these places we have unloaded, you know, 30 of their worst. But, you know, like last week at, at, uh, at Dover, I felt like, you know, lap five I'm like hey I think my race car is pretty good and in the race we had the opportunity to get track position and and uh yeah we showed that our race car had the balance to run up there so that's kind of how that's how we're having to go about it right that's how we're having to just go week by week and just understand kind of what I want what I need and every week we complete um can we build a notebook for what we need as we come back to places like this what's the mood around the team obviously big top 10 run last week at Dover yeah you know you just touched on track position fell your way but is there a sense of extra confidence going into Kansas this week amongst the team, given how well y'all ran at Dover? Gosh, I, I mean, I can't specifically specifically speak for the guys in, in particular, right? But I know myself, I just try to stay, you know, just kind of in the, in the middle of the, the highs and the lows of it. I've done it long enough to understand what comes with this sport. It's, it's a long season, and but for sure, just the vibe in general, right? It's good for everyone when you have weeks like we've had recently or I say weeks like we've had recently, more so results like we've had recently. Um, our prep hasn't changed. We've been the same race team as we were in Daytona. Obviously, we're getting to know each other a little better every week and getting a little better feel of what I want and need out of these cars, but I am still going to this place for the first time. So, um, by the end of the day, like it's not a, at least I don't view everything as a, as a results is what kind of sets my value, right? That, that's not it for me, at least at this point in my life. But I know that our prep and when it does equal a good result, it definitely leads to positive vibes at the shop, which has been a good thing. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.